Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another review from Vapor Vault Reviews. My name's Callum. Today we're at the vape shop Vapor Vault, and I think this is the first device review of 2021. I'm four months late, but that's because I've had some phone troubles and some problems over there. And yeah, so also, if you're new here, definitely subscribe, give the channel a like and a subscribe. That helps me put out new content. And thanks everyone who commented on my last video regarding my hair. It's actually filled me with confidence, so I don't need to get a haircut before I can put out reviews. I'm just gonna keep them going. Reason this video is delayed, I actually, we're gonna be looking at a device today, so my hands are gonna be on camera, and I've had, actually had to wait for my nails to grow out just a little bit so they don't look too horrible. But today, we are looking at the Smock Arc Fox. This is a dual 18650 battery device, and it goes up to 230 watts. Unfortunately, here in the UK, this device comes with the Baby V2 tank. So we're not gonna take a look at the tank today, but we will go over all the features of this device. And it is rated IP67, which means it's waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. That being said, let's take a look at the device. Easy packaging to get into. On the back here is the contents and a little bit of information. Here it says Arc Fox. On the bottom, there is a bit more information. That's the right way around. And some more here. And on the top, just this Smock logo. So let's take a look at the Smock Arc Fox. Oh, wow. There is a QR code here that you can scan. I guess that will tell you which model it is. And straight away, this device is covered in rubber. It reminds me very much of an Aegis Legend or the Aegis series with the screen here on the side. And it is about the same size as well. It's actually got quite a premium feel to it. I Straight away, I quite like this device. The red, the Iron Man red is very nice. And I will be using it today with my Red Falcon. So the red and the red will match up. Oh, I should have grabbed the different drip tip, look at that. So uh, I was using my blue camo Falcon and a customer needed the glass. I've given them my glass, so now I'm using the red one because I had that spare at the shop. So uh, nothing matches up today, apart from the red paint job. In the, book, in the box, you will have a manual, and this is underneath the uh, device holder. Bit of plastic there. So, <laughs> everything's jumping out the box at me. We have authenticity and some information on your batteries. Here is the manual, and it is a thick manual. It tells you everything you need to know in a few different languages. It also goes through the device settings just here. But we're gonna take a look at that in just a second. In the bottom of the box, you will receive your TFV8 Baby V2, Baby V2 atomizer and a spare coil. The spare coil is the double and this is the 0.2 ohms A2 coil. In here is the S1 coil. Worth mentioning, it is a two mil tank because we are stuck in the United Kingdom, and I believe all European models will have the two mil baby tank. If you're in America, you will get the TFV 16 tank, which we have yet to actually get in and take a look at. So today we're gonna to focus on the device and let's start off with the batteries. This is a very tight battery door and that's to keep water out because they are rated IP67 and that does make them quite waterproof. I guess you could drop that in a puddle and have no trouble at all. Don't try to submerge it in the bath because that is drowning it and that is waterproof, not IP67. IP67 is splash proof, dust proof and shock proof. Not advertised to go swimming. So, no screen protector on this model and I like the red, like immediately I like the red, it's nice. This might be my new everyday device. On the back here, this is metal and embroidered, it says Arc Fox. So this is the Arc Fox device, it is USB-C charging covered up by a rubber bung to keep the water out. But again, if you submerge it, that is not IP67 rated. That's actually a higher IP. So this will handle splash, rain, a little drop in a puddle, but it won't handle to go swimming. One thing I love is that this pin is screwed in. So if you've had another smock model, I can't think of it, Arcus, and you, you've dropped it, the connection here comes undone. We've actually had to glue a couple of them for customers and it's a pain in the ass. So now we look for this to be screwed on and we know that if you drop it, the tank might break, but at least your device will stay strong. And that is quite an issue that a few people have had. Just like the Geek Vape, it has a sidebar that will turn on with five clicks. This sidebar 
can be used with your fingers like this or your thumb like this. Again, that is a design that I'm quite a fan of. Taking a look at the menu, we have an up and down and it does round robin up to 2.30. I don't know who would vape at 2.30. If you vape at 2.30 or are close to 200, definitely let me know that's you in the comment section because I'd love to hear what tank you are vaping at 200 watts. Me, myself, I'm between 50, 45, 60, depends how old the coil is. But we want to get in to the menu. So three clicks on here, one, two, three, and that will change mode. Right now it's in power wattage mode and by clicking one, two, three will go into your mode and you can actually click through the options. With your up and down button, that will be able to adjust those. So while it's on power, if you click up, it will go to the nickel, titanium, stainless steel, and then back to power, which is where most of us actually are. Not many of us use temperature control. Again, I don't have a single customer that uses temperature control, but if you are temperature control, you need special coils for that, like nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Most of us are just using the Cantful pre-made coils, and that is here. Back to watch mode. Back to watch mode. Other than that, there's not much to it. I've heard we can change the color, so let's see how to do that. If you hold the up button and fire, it will change through colors. I'm going to get it back to red, because this is a red device, and that looks best. I also have to take it back off stainless steel mode, back to power mode. But let's see how it vapes with the Falcon. This isn't truly what you'd get in the kit. In the kit, you'd get a Baby V2, but I don't have one of them about. And we've seen the Baby V2 many times before, so I don't feel like filling this one up. I might actually uh, sell that a bit cheaper to a customer that needs it. So 40 watts with the Falcon. Don't mind my red, don't mind my camo drip tip. It did come off something different. Forty watts is way underpowered. I'm going to take it up to fifty, which is where I was vaping on my drag. That is actually now getting a bit battered. So I'm quite happy to open this, and the red matches the red Falcon. So again, happy days. But just feeling this rubber is <laughs> pretty nice. I like the stitched leather. It is very much like the Geek Vape models, but they are very popular in store. So I know that this is going to be a winner as well. We have a couple different colours in at the moment. I grabbed red because I'm using a red tank. Sorry about that. Hopefully it doesn't interrupt the cus customer. It doesn't interrupt the video. I just had a customer which interrupted me, but it's all good. I'm here at the shop. That is my job to serve customers and not necessarily make YouTube videos, but I enjoy it. And if you can hear, that's my chair. That's not my ass. That's the squeaky chair I'm sitting on. So we was looking at the rubber design, which actually feels really nice in hand, kind of like the popular models from the Geek Vape. And all these vape companies see something popular and do it themselves. Nothing's really copyrighted in the vape industry. As you well know, all the pod systems come about. Every brand did a pod system. Now every brand's doing a mouth to lung system. And give it a month's time, every brand will have a disposable little system. So this has been the Smock Arc Fox, which I almost called the Geek Vape Arc Fox, just because I'm so used to them rubber designs coming from Geek Vape. But it's nice. I like it. The button is very nice. And uh, my only gripe is that it takes a while to power up. That being said, I'm on 50 watts. However, I am comparing it to the drag. So if we go 70 watts, that is a lot more of what I'm used to. So with this device, if you're comparing it to another model you have, you might need to power up a few more watts. I'm actually 20 watts above what I would be at to get the same power, unless we have a soft, medium, high option, which I don't see on the front screen. So that might be something to take into consideration. It does take a little bit longer to heat up than previous models. And if I go to 60, which is in between where I'd usually vape on the drag and where I had this at Prime. Or it could be this particular coil. It is designed to work with the smock devices, the smock tanks, so maybe you'll have better luck with the actual Baby Beast V2. If this is an issue, when I crack open the Morph 2, I will fill up the Morph 2 tank and test it again on here and give you a little update in the notes or descriptions. If you'd like to let me see, if you'd like, 
to see me do that, let me know in the comments because it is a bit of an unfair comparison not having the tank that it comes with on here. However, most of you in America are going to get a different tank anyway. You're going to get the TFV16 tank and here in the UK we've got the TFV the V2 tank, which is a bit of annoying really because this tank is on lots of models. So as I keep opening these and reviewing it, I've got a lot of baby V2s lying around. So uh, I might definitely crack that open, fill it up and come back to this video. But for now, this is, we are looking at the device itself because when you buy it, traditionally you have your favorite tank and you just need a new device. I would go for it. If you're a builder, I'd go for it. If you're working outside, I'd get it for sure. It uh, will handle a couple of drops. Try not to ha hit it on the battery door because we've had one model that bust because of that and it literally hit on the battery door and didn't close again. But it would happen the same on a Legend device too. So I like it for style, for feel and for where that firing uh, thing is. I'm going to use this device for a lot longer because my paint has started to chip on here. I'm going to take that off, repaint it and probably colour it red. My dad does quite a bit of spray painting. He is a graffiti artist so he will make that red for me. And then I will show you the updated Vupu once that is done. But for now, I'm gonna use this because it's red, matches my Falcon tank. I really like the design. I'm gonna get a red drip tip in so everything matches up nicely. So stay tuned for the next video. If you've had fun, found it informative, and you wanna share it with a friend, that would definitely help me. You can do that by subscribing, liking, and sharing it to your social medias. I hope the little interruption from a customer didn't bother you guys. Again, I am here working in the vape shop, and we're just trying to recover after lockdown, really. Been a bit of a terrible time through lockdown. Now we're just trying to get new customers in. So take care, have fun, and stay tuned to the channel, because I will have weekly videos, reviews, and generally shop updates coming soon. Take care, stay safe, have a great weekend.